Hey, what's up guys, Patrick, and this guy to one small favor. The items you need are four steel bars, one bronze bar, one iron bar, one empty pot, one clean marantil, one clean harrowlander, one vile water, one hammer, two cut red topazes, two cut opals, two cut jades, armor, weapon, and food. To start, you have to go to Shiloh Village, but I'm showing you a map of Brimhaven in case you don't know how to get there, so go to the area circle in red near the docks. You will find a guy with a cart here. If you right click him and choose to pay fare, he can bring you to Shiloh Village for 10 GP. Using the cart will bring you to the area circle in yellow. To start, go to the building circle in red. Talk to Yanni and select the options written on screen. Exit the village. Go south, talk to Jungle Forester, and select the options run on screen. Go west until you reach the water. Climb up those ladder and talk to Captain Shanks. When you get the option, select the one that says actually have a favor to ask, then finish the conversation. Head to the axe shop in Port Sarum, which is building circle in red. Talk to Brian and select the options written on screen. Go east to the building of Draenor, circle the red on this map. Talk to the witch and select the options written on screen. Make your way to the dungeon in Lumbridge, circle the red on this map. Click on the entrance and you'll start picking the lock. It may take a few tries, but go in once it's open. Go south to the room in the middle left. Talk to this guy and select the options written on screen. Exit the dungeon, go west across the bridge, then north to the farm circle in red. Talk to Fred the farmer and select the option that says I need to talk to you about Jimmy. Head back across the bridge and go north to the other farm. Talk to Seth and we get the option, suck the one that says, oh, okay, I guess it's not that much further, Verak, then finish the conversation. Go to the armor shop in Verak, which is building circle right on this map. Talk to Horvick and select the options written on screen. Go southwest to the potion guy in Verak. Talk to the potion guy and select the options written on screen. Head to the Potter and Barbarian Village. Talk to the Potter and when you get to the chat option, select the one that says, okay, I'll deal with Hammer Spike. 
Go to Dungeon Circle and write on this map. When you get here, head south and turn west when you get near the end. Talk to Hammer Spike and select the options written on screen. Head to the building in Taverly Circle and right on this map. Talk to Sandview and select the options written on screen. Go to a gnome glider located on the White Wolf Mountain. Use the Harrowlander on the Vial Water, then use the Marantil on the Unfinished Harrowlander Potion, and it has to be in that order. If you mess up, you have to go get more. Talk to the gnome and select the options written on screen. Head to the General Store in Catherby, which is located on the docks. Talk to the general store owner and select the options written on screen. Go to the building in Sears Village, circle red on this map. Talk to a seer with a really weird name and select the options written on screen. Head to the dungeon southeast of the fishing guild. When you get here, go to the northeast corner of the dungeon. Right click and search the sculpture on the eastern wall. Head to the building in the northeast corner of Artie. Talk to a wizard and select the options written on screen. Go to the area circle in red behind the building located south of the bank. Pick up five cages. Head to the area in Port Cazard, circle in red. Talk to Tyndall Merchant and select the options run on screen. Go to the area of circle in red, southeast of Yanil. Talk to Rance and select the options run on screen. Head straight west until you reach the Gnome Glider. Talk to a Gnome and select the options run on screen. So there are 8 landing lights in the area, if you right click and search them you'll find a gem in each one. All you have to do is cut the gem and put it back. The reason why I told you to bring all those cut gems at the beginning of the video is because some of the gems from the lights, if you cut them there's a chance you'll crush them which means they won't be usable and you have to go get them anyways. This way you don't have to go back and forth. When you're done talk to a gnome again and tell him you've fixed all the lights. Head straight east back to Rance. Talk to Rance and tell him you helped the gnome. Head to the area in Port Cazard circled in red. 
talk to the Tyndall merchant and tell him you have the mattress. Head to the building in the northeast corner of Artie. Talk to a wizard and tell me of the iron oxide. Head to the dungeon southeast of the fishing guild. When you get here, go to the northeast corner of the dungeon. Stand in front of the sculpture and read the scroll. You'll end up misfiring the spell and bring one of the rocks to life, kill it, and cast the spell again. Go to the building in Seer's village, circle red on his map. Talk to a seer with a really weird name and select the options written on screen. Climb up the ladder in the corner. Head to the east side of the building and climb up the next ladder. Go to the west side of the roof, search the weather vane, and choose to hit it with a hammer to get some parts. Head all the way down the ladders. Go north to the building with the anvil in it next to the bank. Use each of the parts you got from the weather vane on the anvil. Head back up to the weather vane. Use each of the parts on the weather vane. Go down the letters back to the seer. Talk to him and tell him you fixed the weather vane. Head to the general store in Catherby, which is located on the docks. Talk to the general store owner and tell him you have the weather report. Go to a gnome glider located on the White Wolf Mountain. Talk to a gnome and ask if he got his trash. Head to the building in Taverly, circle in red on this map. Talk to Sandview and tell him the gnome pilot has agreed to take him. Go to Dungeon Circle in red on his map. When you get here, head south and turn west when you get near the end. Talk to Hammer Spike twice, and the other doors will start attacking you. Kill them and talk to them again. Head to the Potter and Barbarian Village. Talk to a Potter who will give you some soft clay. Click on the Potter's Wheel and make a pot lid. Use the unfired pot lid on the pottery oven. Head to the potion guy, Varrock. Talk to the potion guy and select the options written on screen.
Go northeast to Horvik, who can be found in the armor shop. Talk to Horvik and select the options written on screen. Head to the farm in Lumbridge, circle to right on this map. Talk to Seth. Go south to the dungeon. Pick the lock until it opens and go in. Go south to the room in the middle left. Talk to this guy and tell him you got the chicken deal for him. Go to the building in Draenor, circle red right on this map. Talk to Aggie and select the option to talk about one small favor. Head to the Axe Shop in Port Sarum, which is the building circle in red. Talk to Brian and tell him you returned with good news. Go to the area circle in red, southeast of Shiloh Village. Talk to Jungle Forester and tell her you sharpened her hatchet. Head to the building in Shiloh Village, circle in red. Talk to Yanny and tell him you have the red mahogany. That will be the end of the quest. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys later. Peace.